happy Monday. How are you? I hope you're good. Today I'm here with a really short, quick book review on The Rats by James Herbert. This is a book that I read a little over a year ago and I've always wanted to talk about it a bit more on this channel, but I haven't, but now's the perfect time. Uh, for those that don't know, James Herbert is a really well-known horror author. I believe he was born in the 1940s and then passed away around 2013-ish. Um, he was really successful. He sold over 40 million copies of his books worldwide, so that's great. He's really well known for his rat series as well as The Fog and many others that I personally haven't read. I haven't read anything else by him except The Rats so I want to read more so if you have recommendations let me know. The Rats was originally published in 1974 I want to say around that time. It was really well received by readers. I mean successful in that way. It sold out within three weeks of its publication so it was such a popular book at the time but it wasn't well received by critics at all. It got a lot of flack. A lot of critics said it was way too gory and graphic and the mutilation and whatnot was just no 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 this should not be a thing but regardless of that it was a hit and this book got movie adaptions. There, there's a movie adaption of The Rats. I haven't, I haven't seen it, but I really, really want to. So The Rats, in and of itself, was this weird successful phenomena in the 70s, apparently. But anyway, for those that don't know, The Rats is about killer mutant rats. There you go. Have fun reading it. You're welcome. No, um, there's more. There's more. Not much more, but there's more. So the beginning of this book, we see this homeless man as he's killed by one of these giant mutant rats. That's our setup. That's our main um, spark in the beginning. So then we follow this teacher. I believe he's an art teacher. One of his students, he finds out, is bitten by a rat. And within, I believe, 24 hours, I think the student passes away. So we find out that if you're bitten by one of these mutant rats, that you will die from their bite you know, within 24 hours, which is horrible. So we follow this teacher as he's kind of thrown into the chaos of these mutant rats as they slowly take over this area. And he has to help the government fight back and, and get rid of these rats because he's really, he knows the area really well, right? So he's able to help them to infiltrate and, and find the rats and see where they are and take care of them. So it's so funny because just the fact that we're following a teacher as our main um, protagonist you know, he's such an underdog, you know, he shouldn't be the ones that are fighting these rats. It should be, you know, the government and, and the police and all that stuff. But no, no, it's the teacher that's gonna, it's gonna defeat them all. It's ridiculous. That's basically our setup. We later find out where these rats came from, blah, 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 but I'm not gonna spoil you on that. I think if you're a fan of creature horror, if you love a good, just ridiculous story that you kind of have to suspend your disbelief, I mean, we're reading about killer rats here, then you will really enjoy this. This isn't a story that you read for the character. This is a story that you read for the rats itself. We actually follow a lot of the rats point of view So we actually see what they're doing and we learn that they're actually really intelligent despite them being rats They have this pack mentality and they use these frequencies to communicate with one another. It's wild It's so wild. So if you love that 1970s horror creature era, uh, you're gonna love this It's just filled with so many ridiculous laughable moments, but it's so entertaining You could sit and read this in just a couple hours and just have a heck of a time. I love this so much. I really want to watch the movie adaptions. Hopefully I can do that soon. Hopefully we'll see. But yeah this is just a great horror story that I really like and I highly recommend it. So um, if you have read this I would love to know your thoughts and opinions because um, this is just so ridiculous and I just need to talk about this with someone. That book is uh, definitely something. Uh, so yeah that's my book review for today. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and we'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!